Jalen, I know we mostly going to talk about the news of the day, but I got to ask you a question from the game on yesterday. On that touchdown that came into the corner, it seemed to me that you recognized that those crossers were coming. You tried to communicate to one of your teammates to take your crosser, and then you start to go take the other one. But then it seemed like you kind of like changed your mind and like stopped. Can you tell me what happened on that play? You really just told me what happened on the play. Honestly, I mean, that's only – that's pretty much what it was, just a miscommunication. I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't do my job of communicating pre-snap, and it wasn't it wasn't good for me to try to communicate during the play. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to stay on our guys um, and keep moving through it. So, I mean, honestly, it's just a miscommunication, and we just got to keep continuing to build off of it um, and try to eliminate those mistakes moving forward. Thanks. Next question, Joe Lewis. Yeah, Jaylee, you talked about building and, you know, getting a chemistry between the players. As you all deal with the transition to a new coach, how will you keep that chemistry together between you all both, you know, off the field and on the field? Are you all going to, you know, meet more? What is, what is the plan to make sure that you are well prepared, regardless of who steps in as the next coach? I mean, honestly, I feel like it all is about time. Um, time spent studying, time spent together, um, just communicating, being on the same page. Um, at the end of the day. So, I mean, I feel like that's a big focus that I'm going to take on um, as a leader of the team, and as a leader of the DB group, um, just to be able to spend more time and get on one accord um, in life and on the field. So, I mean, just moving forward, we just got to do a better job um, and spend more time together. Next question, Mark Grody. Hey, Jalen, Ryan Pace drafted you. What did you think? What was your reaction when you heard the news that he was fired? I mean, I was shocked. Um, I mean, I just found out probably 45 seconds before I got in here. So, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I mean, it's definitely a, a tough transition. Um, very appreciative of him giving me an opportunity to play for this organization. Um, so, I mean, just just trying to keep it professional, really. Um, but I really appreciate him and the opportunity he gave me. Next question, Dan Reader. Jalen, how will you kind of personally deal with the uncertainty of what's ahead? Obviously, not knowing your head coach, your coordinator, your position coach, and all the all the things that will, will unfold in the next month or so. I mean, I'm worried about being the best DB in the league, um, regardless of who the coach is. I mean, that's going to be what I what I'm trying to bring to the team, um, bringing a good, a better leader, um, and bringing in one being one of the best DBs in the league. So, I mean, my pre preparation, my mindset, it isn't isn't changing this offseason, no matter who the coaching staff is or anything like that. At the end of the day, I want to be the best. Um, so, I mean, that's how I'm going to train moving forward. What would you like to see in a head coach? What 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 qualities do you value personally in, in a guy that will take over that role? I mean, that's, I mean, I haven't really experienced too many head coaches. So, I mean, I don't know what it looks like. It's easy to name good characteristics. Um, but, I mean, I don't know what different head coaches look like. So, I mean, for me, at the end of the day, we all want to win. Um, so, I mean, as long as we have a winning culture, we come in, we want to win and change the, just change the culture of the organization and just move forward in the best direction. I would appreciate that. Next question, Mike Berman. Jalen, what was the, what was it like with Matt Nagy delivering the news to the team during a meeting? How, how would you say you felt, the team felt, what were, what were his emotions? What were your guys' emotions knowing you know, the finality of, of him being fired officially? Um, I mean, I feel like it may have caught some of us off guard. Um, just considering when it happened, um, I guess it happened this morning. So, I mean, for me, I didn't know. I didn't wake up checking social media and seeing anything that went on. So, I mean, just hearing the news, kind of seeing his um, body language change a little bit. But, I mean, it hurts. Um, he spent a lot of time here. He put a lot into the organization. Um, so, I mean, having that taken away from you is never easy. Um, and then for some of us in the organization, all we know is Coach Nagy and all we know is Pace. I mean, it's a it's going to be a different um, transition for us versus other guys who've been through different teams and different things like that. So, I mean, for, I mean, every guy has a different reaction. So, I mean, just for, just for everybody, I feel like we all just want to move forward um, and just keep continuing to be the best player and best person we could be. Do you internally, you know, as a competitor, do you feel like a sense of responsibility when your coach gets fired like that? I mean, obviously he gets fired because the results aren't what you want them to be on the field. Like, how, how do you how do you process that? I mean, I don't even look at it like that. Honestly, I feel like everybody is just concerned about doing their job. Um, and I mean, that's been my concern, staying in my box, staying in my bubble, um, and doing my 111th, as I mentioned last week. Um, 
So, I mean, no, I don't feel that that responsibility. At the end of the day, I want to go out each and every day and try to do my job and get better at doing my job. Last question, Dan Reeder. Jalen, knowing the way that, that you're wired, what, what bothers you most about the, the season's results for the team as a whole? I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, no, knowing the way that you're wired, what bothers you most about the results of the season for the team as a whole? Um, just the fact that I thought we underachieved. I thought we have a, we have the players to be a contending team. Um, and then for us not to get to the playoffs, I feel like it's definitely disappointing considering I feel like we have, we have enough people to do it. Um, so, I mean, just really being able to figure out how we can piece all of these great pieces that we have together um, and find a way to get more wins and find a way to just execute better um, and more consistently. Because, I mean, there's definitely times where we did it at a high level but we got to find ways to continue to put it together and put it together consistently throughout the year. Um, so, I mean, just, just trying to move forward in that direction. As a team leader, do you sense that it'll be, I don't want to say easy, but, the, but attainable for you guys to, to make the, the, the corrections to achieve up to your potential? I mean, yeah, I feel like as, I mean, it's, it's a group effort. I mean, we, leaders can preach it, but we have to have everybody on one accord to be able to move in the right direction. So, I mean, if we have the right leaders, we have guys buying in, I don't see why we couldn't make that step. Great. Thank you, Jalen. Have a good one.